Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The structure of the Massachusetts Constitution of 1780 is more like the U.S. Constitution than the other early state constitutions. It was written principally by John Adams, who would later become America's second president. The Massachusetts Constitution differed from those of the other states. In addition to relying on popular representation in the legislature, it created a strong system of separation of powers and checks and balances. It gave the governor effective checks on the power of the legislature and provided for a judiciary with judges holding office according to their good behavior, not for limited terms. The Massachusetts Constitution divided the people into voting groups based on their wealth. They expected that government would then more accurately represent the interests of the groups that elected them. Only people with a large amount of property could vote for both the governor and the legislature. People with slightly less property could vote for both the upper and lower houses of the legislature. People with the minimum amount of property could only vote for the lower house of the legislature. The experience of writing state constitutions was a useful one to the founders. Americans were learning what type of government worked best. The differences between the Massachusetts Constitution and those that were written earlier were a result of these experiences. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.